Good evening. We're here with Dave and we have a Ford car 1.6 2005. It's a street car actually and we've got a problem with it. Um, so they've noticed while they were driving it that uh, it cuts out at certain times um, mm -hmm. when accelerating. So we're going to have a quick look at it today see if we can find out what's wrong see if we need any parts get them and try and fix it so the first things first is we're gonna start the engine and see if we get any warning lights on the dash um, and we'll go from there basically as you can tell this is not the car I made <laughs> for, <laughs> for Dave ah, I'll sit on the edge Are you sit on the edge Anyway, how would you fit in this? <laughs> you don't. Hey, well, right, lovely. So, I don't drive it. let's see. <clears throat> so, just to let you know, I have actually changed the spark plugs. Uh, new battery. And put a new battery in. That was just something that we were going to do anyway. It's not really related to this problem. So, okay, let's go. to run fine so what I'm going to do is put the computer on it and do a scan and see if there's any historical codes or anything that could lead us towards the problem. The connection port is down there in the streetcar uh, for the uh, uh, adapter. Uh, what do you call it? Oh my god. Diagnostic tool. Yeah, but there's a OBD port. OBD, that's it. There's an OBD port down there. <laughs> Having a moment there. So uh, we'll stick stick it in there and uh, see what we can come up with. Let me just see. Uh, see if you can stick that in there, bro. There we go. You've got a nice Bluetooth, haven't you? I have. I've just got the tube and cheerful wires. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what we get on the computer. Okay, so you can see now, scrolling through, that we've got a problem with the throttle position sensor. So if you want to know where it is, it's here. Well, more specifically at the back, which is just in there. Just there. So to get to it, we have to take off this, which on a streetcar is so easy. There you go, my, my wonderful assistant. And then this is the air filter box. There's a clip here, uh, it goes in there, but, and then you just undo this ring. Once you've done that, take off this uh, breather pipe. Yeah. And then this, once you've undone that ring, you should. In fact, Dave's gonna demonstrate this. I'm filming. Just unclip. Wiggle it up. Eventually. There, it there we go. Honestly, it's like a professional mechanic. It's like, huh? Yeah. Well done. Yeah, it's broken, this one. <laughs> yeah. So you can see there in uh, that's the throttle body. Oh, sorry, the yeah, the, the butterfly valve. And this is the accelerator connection. So when you press the accelerator, which I'll get Dave to do to demonstrate. Right, so there's Dave. He's pressing the accelerator, and as he presses it down, it moves that. There we go. Okay, lovely. So we need to test it. 
to make sure that it's functioning correctly. In order to do that, we need to remove this assembly just to make it easy on ourselves. So it's actually only four torque screws. One, two, three, four. So we'll get that unscrewed and then pull it out. How long? Five minutes Turkish. Oh, got it. Oh, look at that. It's got it. Spectacular. Right. <laughs> so you, that is, you, know, you can just see now, this here is the throttle position sensor. And it's a three wire sensor, which means there's um, positive, negative, and um, Usually the middle one is a, a reading. For this, we're gonna need um, a multimeter, just a normal one will do. But you're gonna need a way of getting into the back of the connector. You can buy these online, not expensive. These are probes that go in the back of the connector and they will connect to the uh, inside of the uh, uh, plug or the socket without causing any damage and you can remove them afterwards i'll show you what i mean right so this actually there we go that's one another one Just need a normal multimeter. Like that. And we just need it set into volts. And we're looking for five volts, so I'll set it to whatever it would be for that make a connection to the middle and one of the outside ones in this case I'm using brown and white because I think brown is more likely to be negative and then white is the signal wire so let's do that that's it so we've got nothing if you just show them out so we've got nothing on here now so what we're going to do is Dave's going to go in and turn the ignition on, not start the engine, but just put it on uh, accessory position, uh, just before you start it, the ignition position, ignition on, but not start. Okay, show this down here. So this bit down here, uh, where the accelerator fits, I'm going to rotate it as if the accelerator has been pressed, look this and when I do that it changed the voltage measurement on here okay so now as I rotate this we're looking for an even run up all the way up to around 5 volts when it's at full so I keep rotating it keep rotating it Unplug this new one. I'll put that on. All right, we've got the old um, sensor here, and you can just see look that inside bit. There's a lot of movement, and it's very loose. Whereas the new one is more solid doesn't move around yeah. so let's try that so 
we've got no voltage whatsoever at the moment, which is good. So we'll get Dave to go and just turn the ignition on again. Slightly different reading to start with. And as I turn it, goes up all the way. There we go. Nice and smooth, so that's working. Slightly lower value, which is good, because the other one was slightly different. So let's reassemble it. Okay, so the only thing left now, take it for a road test and see what happens. Right then, that was successful. Uh, Streetcar fixed. It was the throttle position sensor. That was a 15 mile drive. Uh, it's fully up to temperature, complete drive cycle. And no hesitation, no engine warning lights, nothing. So we'll call that a fix. So if your streetcar is going into limp mode uh, or you're getting the, um, the error message, or uh, throttle position sensor. It's a 22, 23 pound part. Um, takes probably half an hour to fit. And there you go. It's good as new. It's now gonna go for an MOT. And uh, we're back on the road. If you found this useful, you can buy me a coffee. Link is in the description. Um, it's whatever you can manage one euro two euros anything like that helps me make these videos so you can fix these cars um, that's it really uh, check out my other videos um, some of them are quite entertaining uh, but that's it thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one